I was challenged with yellow onion, also known as a storage onion. Uh, papery outside of skin, uh, it's really high in sulfonic acid, uh, also makes you cry when you cut into it. However, when you cook it, it takes on a real sweet flavor, um, gets soft and caramelizes real nicely. So this is pretty much just an onion? It's just an onion. Uh, it's, I mean, it's kind of a crazy ingredient to get challenged with because it literally goes into everything. And as soon as I was challenged with it, I thought liver and onions um, kind of slapped me back to my childhood. My mom frying up some calf's liver um, in bacon fat. Um, went the route of chicken livers though. Uh, gonna do a nice fried chicken liver. I think we'll start out with making our marmalade. That's gonna take the longest amount of time. We'll just toss everything in there. You want to get a nice caramelization on the onions, uh, bring out a lot of that sweetness. We'll add in that bacon that we rendered out earlier, a couple sprigs of thyme, and some white balsamic vinegar. Now there is one dish where it's a star which is the blooming onion. Uh, I am a big fan of the blooming onion, um, and I believe it's Outback. It's yeah. very, very delicious. Um, I've made it before, only for family meals and such. Our next move is we're gonna make some uh, roasted onion aioli. We have some uh, Dijon mustard. And then this is uh, some yellow onion that I uh, roasted with just a little bit of olive oil, salt, and pepper. Uh, pureed it and then passed it through a fine mesh sieve. And then here we have a proprietary blend of herbs and spices. It's uh, really just sugar. A little bit of more uh, dehydrated onion and some cayenne pepper just for a tiny little bit of heat in there. Now we're gonna move into our chicken livers. Now these have been uh, soaked in a little bit of uh, fresh onion, pulverized into some buttermilk, uh, fresh thyme, and a little bit of garlic. Nice big ones here. Okay. And we're gonna try and shake off as much of this excess dredge as we can and get it into that uh, buttermilk and Dijon mixture. Here we could be a little bit more messy with it. The more chunks that are uh, stuck to it, the better. That's where you're gonna get all those nice little crispy pieces, almost like fried chicken. And they're gonna go for about three, three to five minutes, uh, just until they're nice and cooked through and golden brown. And I got some really paper thin uh, cut yellow onion right here. Um, these are some local um, petite mustard and uh, ruby streaks. Uh, these are going to add a little bit of uh, like bitterness to the dish, kind of round it out with a little bit of freshness as well, and also add a little bit of uh, cuteness, I guess. We're going to take some of this aioli, kind of set it there, some of our yellow onion marmalade. Just toss one of these guys right on top of the marmalade, like so. Here we have some uh, black onion powder. And I took yellow onion, uh, cooked out the liquid with some squid ink, and then threw it in the dehydrator and then just pulverized it. This will add just another little uh, onion aspect to the dish and kind of give it some nice, uh, cool little specks on the plate. So much sauce. Too much sauce, really. Teeny bit of the irony from the liver comes through and kind of matches up well with the, um, with the richness of the onion. And then the aioli just kind of cuts through everything with that nice bright salad. Do you plan on using onions in the future in your cooking? Um, every day. I mean, some cultures actually use onions. Uh, they'll like use them to cure um, illnesses. A lot of people say it cures disease, um, keeps spirits away. Uh, I won't be doing any of that, but I definitely will be cooking with onions in the near future. So I will be challenging Ashley Aubin of Wood and Solero Restaurant with one of his favorite ingredients. It is gefilte fish. I feel like anything homemade from like a friend or a, a, a Jewish mother or something would, would kind of be passable as a delicious ingredient. However, this stuff is just packed in a jelly uh, jar for God knows how long and uh, kind of terrifies me a little bit. So hopefully it scares him as well.